Believe it or not, this is supposed to help people overcome their shyness. But you're gonna find out soon why this is the weirdest and creepiest thing that I've ever bought. If you picked up a copy of this 2008 self-help DVD, Meet Deru Dake, then you're probably somebody who is terribly shy and has a really difficult time making eye contact with another human. Meet Deru Dake has a very simple premise. You stare silently into the eyes of the person on the screen, and by doing this, you hopefully reduce your fear and anxiety of looking someone in the eye. It's a little strange, but in theory, it sounds like it could work for some people. But when you actually watch this, you discover that there is a deep and dark hidden secret. I want to talk about why there is actually a DVD to help people make eye contact. In countries like the US, looking someone in the eye is a very important part of communication. It's how we establish trust with each other and show the other person that we're listening to them. In fact, if we think someone is lying, we tell them, look me in the eye and say that. Hey. Yeah. What are these? I got those from a woman I met at the bar, okay? Are you telling me a lie? Look me in the eyes and tell me the truth. They're mine, okay? I like the way the lace feels on my skin. <laughs> I like it too. In Japanese culture, sustained eye contact is often seen as being very aggressive. In fact, there was a study conducted by Japanese and Finnish researchers about the difference between eye contact in Japan and a Western country like Finland. They showed Japanese and Finnish participants a series of faces where the eyes were looking at various degrees from the left to the right, along with direct eye contact. The Finnish participants said that when the faces were not making direct eye contact with them, they felt that the person may be a little bit aggressive and not very approachable. The Japanese participants, on the other hand, found that direct eye contact correlated with high aggression and very, very high unapproachability. So if you are trying to be more approachable in Japan, then maybe making direct and hard eye contact is not the way to go. Instead, you might have better luck if you avert your gaze and see how that works out for you. You me fucking tonight. And if you're ready for some fucking too, then check out our fucking merch. So in Japan, when children are being scolded, they often look away and they don't make direct eye contact with the parent or the person that is scolding them because when they do, that can be seen as a sign of aggression from the child. Avoiding sustained and direct eye contact as an adult in the workplace is also really important because it can make your coworkers and everybody around you feel slightly uncomfortable. One time I was talking with my supervisor, he just stopped me and he looked at me and he said, um, Mr. Itsensei, your eye contact is a little too strong. It's making me uncomfortable. What do you mean? I always talk to people like this. If eye contact is considered to be a negative thing in Japan, then why does something like this even exist? The answer is simple, business. As Japan pushes into international trade, they've realized that eye contact is a very important part of deal making. Now I do want to clarify that eye contact is not considered to be a bad thing in all situations. With family and close friends, it's totally normal to look them in the eye, but with people that you're not really close to or strangers, it's better to look away. Now going back to the DVD, the first thing that made me say, oh god, what did I just buy? is the explanation part of the DVD. It talks about some of the difficulties that Japanese socially recluse people have when it comes to reintegrating back into society and how this DVD can actually help them. Now the main way to use this DVD is to actually practice your eye contact with the person on the screen. But they also show you some creative uses of the DVD as well. You can pull up your favorite movie on the TV and then on your laptop play the DVD and pretend you're watching a movie with your girlfriend. You can get blackout drunk and tell your deepest, darkest secrets to it. Or if you're feeling extra lonely, you can cuddle up for a snuggle session. Yeah, this is definitely a red flag. Now on the back of the DVD case, it says you can practice making eye contact with 50 different people. The only guy that you will see in the DVD is this guy. The rest of the people that you're actually gonna be practicing eye contact with are all women. I imagine that in the real world, I will have to see men and women not just one or the other. They all stare at you in the eyes silently for about a minute and then they have something to tell you at the end. Now some of the things they say are pretty innocuous. Yay. And some of them are just plain weird. 
<laughs> huh. Wow, I'm cured of all social anxiety now. Thanks, Miteru Dake. The little things that they say at the end start to get a little bit more strange and nonsensical. Nash. Leech. But when you put them together in the right order, it makes a whole lot of sense. Koko doko? Kaeritai. Misugi. Yamete yo. Deteru yo. Tare da. Tamesugi. So, what was advertised as a self help DVD is actually a self help DVD. Well, I went to check out some of the reviews, and this one was rated as the most helpful. It might be good for men to look at, but not for the intended purpose. Not for the intended purpose. Yeah, you could say that again. I find it very painful to face people and have long conversations with them, especially when I can't look them straight in the eye and have to look away immediately. I have an extreme phobia of people's gazes. The more I tried and tried to overcome it, the harder it got. That's when I found out about this DVD and bought it. My honest impression was that all the people in the DVD were women, and it seemed to be aimed at men with gynophobia or single men who miss women. However, since my company is an all female workplace, I tried watching the DVD several times to see if I could cure my shyness. Unfortunately, my personal results were nothing from this DVD. So, as this person said, it's not very good at helping you with eye contact, but if you're a lonely guy, then it might help you with self-contact. And ladies, yes, I totally agree. This is sick. This is depraved. This is twisted. That's why there's You'll be whisked away to a magical land of free-range Japanese men who'll eye you and tell you sweet things like that must be some kind of secret sexy technique in Japan. Ooh, there's something sexy about you today. If the idea of looking at another human in the eye is unbearable, head to YouTube and you can find a slew of videos where you practice eye contact with anime characters. What are you doing? I'm preparing for my trip to Japan. And you better prepare for your trip to Japan because today's sponsor, Boksu, is giving a chance to win free tickets to Japan. Boksu is a unique Japanese snack filled experience that makes the perfect gift for yourself or for your Japanese loving friends and family. And by gifting them a subscription, you also gift them a chance to win free tickets to Japan. Use our link in code EATS10 to save 10%, up to $47 on your own subscription. And if you're subscribed before December 31st, you'll get a chance to win those free tickets. We've been working with Boksu for a long time and Mrs. Eats and I absolutely love them. They have amazing selection of snacks like this. Jaga Choco White. These are white chocolate covered potato chips. That is really, really good. You get a nice crunchy saltiness with the potato chips and the sweetness of that white chocolate on top is just heavenly. So if you want a chance to win those free tickets to Japan, use the code EATS10 and link below to be eligible to win the giveaway by subscribing with Boksu. That code will get you 10% off of your own subscription. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity available for anyone who subscribes until December 31st. So as I mentioned earlier, eye contact is something that Japanese people are kind of uncomfortable with, but there are way more things that we non-Japanese people do on a daily basis that just makes Japanese people feel uncomfortable. Mrs. Eats is gonna talk about that in an upcoming video and you can watch that over here when it's out. Thanks for watching, okini!